How's it? We are going to work with the 3D camera, specifically the Z-axis. Z-axis meaning the camera moving forward and back. Uh, so you should have like a space layer. Um, and so in order to uh, create a new layer or a new composition, Command N, okay, and we'll call this Z uh, planet. Okay, and I'm going to import a planet. Um, into this uh, composition and uh, you can choose what kind of um, what you want it to be but for me I'm just going to use this planet and you can decide the scale okay because what we're going to do is put this planet into our galaxy right here okay so here's the planet I'm going to go ahead and put that in at the front Okay, so there it is. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is, if I go to um, and get, if I go to Active Camera and hit Top, you'll be able to see um, where this is located um, as the top view. Okay, and make sure you have 3D. Um, it has to have a 3D for the 3D camera. Um, so make sure you hit V, and if you put V, you can move. This is moving the planet like forward, like it's already in the like in front, or you can move it like more back. And this is depth of field, okay? And this is kind of like your location. You can see the Y and the X axis here, uh, so you can kind of choose and um, where to put that. So if I go back um, to my here, notice how it, it jumped up forward, and that's because I brought it forward in terms of depth of field. So what that means is there's more depth between the planet and Kevin right here. Okay, because I pulled it forward. I didn't zoom it in. I didn't like animate it. All I'm doing is changing the position of the depth of the field. Um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this planet zoom in, or not, not the planet zooming in at us, but the camera going past uh, this planet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back to my Z planet, 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 do active camera. And maybe I'll start it up here a little bit more. The reason why we brought it forward is if we have it too far back, it'll take forever for the camera to like zoom past it. And you can if you want to do it that way, um, but that's your prerogative. So um, we're gonna have a new camera, and actually, if you hit Command Option, sorry, Shift Option Command C, you can have a new camera. And I'm gonna call this Z, and I'm gonna start at the beginning. Okay. And we hit the arrows, and we hit transform, and point of interest and position. Okay, and now with my at the top here, I'm gonna change this to my uh, track Z camera tool. And with my track Z camera tool, okay, I'm gonna drag out my marker. Okay, and now if I click and drag, you'll see the planet. It looks like it's zooming in, but it's not. It's just the camera moving past this planet. Okay, and um, like so. So if I go back um, here, okay, and I, I can click on the planet layer, hit V as in Victor, kind of move it up if I want the planet to kind of move at us, okay. But that looks like we're going to smash right into it, so you would want it to look more like we're like a spaceship, like going right over it, but not crashing into it. Kind of like that. That looks pretty realistic. Star Wars style. So if we go back to our green, okay, and then we can look at it, okay, um, see how it's zooming in. We're kind of going past it with that 3D layer. Um, now, if you want everything to shift, um, let me go back to my Z axis and notice how it didn't go all the way. So I would want to keep zooming that in all the way for my track axis. Um, so in our galaxy layer, okay, if you want the whole thing to shift, um, make sure everything's 3D layer, and I can hit a new camera, uh, shift, option, command, C, and I'm going to call this, um, I'll just call this 3D, because this real, it'll really look 3D. And so now what I can do is with the orbit tool, um, I'm going to transform and start it. And kind of move it back out. So 
point of interest, move it out. Um, with this orbit tool, I'm gonna change it to orbit camera tool. And from this side, you can kind of change the perspective. You see how it's changing the angle, okay? And make sure it's like, it helps if your uh, background is from like a radial gradient that's purple on the inside and black on the outside because your outward borders are black. You don't want to see a difference like here, okay? And so now if we play this out, okay, it'll look like it's shifting over, okay, and it's kind of getting far out of their way and so on. Now you can totally choose how you do this angle. Be creative, make it look realistic in choosing your angle. You, and you can even decide when you want to change it. And don't get too crazy, okay? Subtle is okay, just make it look um, really interesting.